Hi, I'm Karen Blanc. I'm a process engineer by background. Hello, I'm Sarah Clark and I'm a process engineer. Hello, I'm Katie Hardacre. I'm a geoscientist. Hi, I'm Caroline Lawford. I'm a project lead in decommissioning, but a structural engineer by background. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. So for International Women in Engineering Day, I'm going to ask you all a few questions about why you chose to work in engineering. Um, so, Sarah, what made you choose to study process engineering and become a process engineer? Um, so I was quite good at maths and physics and chemistry eventually in high school. Um, it, took a, it took a bit of time. Um, and my dad is a piping engineer uh, in the oil and gas industry and he I remember him getting my report card and he was like, You're really smart. You could you <laughs> thanks, could <Dad>. do <laughs> I was like, thanks dad. Um, you could become a process engineer and then I went along to a careers fair um, at Jacqueline University um, and I we got taught into them and they told me all about Frank Morton and my dad's like, You're not going there and I'm like, I'm definitely going to that uni and uh, that's kind of how it went about. It just sounded really interesting career is something I'm kind of familiar with already and it's something that hit all the subjects I liked. Okay. And now that you're working in it you would still say that it's the right career for you? Um, yeah I think it opens more doors that I never really expected when I was in first year at university and um, so now I'm looking more towards engineer management and going up to the kind of director profile side of things like long-term career plan but it was something I've never even thought whilst at university. So Katie, okay, so you identify as a woman in engineering, not as an engineer. Um, how, what made you choose the career path that you chose? I knew that I wanted to work in a sector that impacted people on a daily basis. Not to do something esoteric or something that was purely about finance or money, but something that was tangible where I could see what I was doing was making a difference to people's lives. And there's nothing quite as fundamental as energy. And thinking about other things engineers do, you know, energy, transport, water, they're all so fundamental to our daily lives. That's what really attracted me to it. I can relate to that. Um, so now that you have been working in oil and gas for a, for a period of time, would you say that, that you're still inspired to work here? What I love about oil and gas in the energy industry is the diversity of backgrounds that people have when they come into it. You can meet people who've studied so many different things in different parts of the world, and that brings a richness to your daily working experience. Mm -hmm. I also love that it's a very creative industry. We're never trying to solve exactly the same problem. Yeah. And it's creativity within constraints. So you always have to obey the physical principles and the regulatory framework. But beyond that, it's so creative. Yeah. OK, great. Thank you. I like your answer. Caroline, you're a structural engineer. So what made you decide to study structural engineering? Um, so I suppose I sort of fell into structural engineering after trying a few different things. So I loved um, science and maths, mm -hmm. looked at a load of different degree courses and sort of hedged my bets a little bit and went, <laughs> went for civil engineering with architecture. Uh -huh. And during the course, I really fell in love with the structural engineering side of it. Um, I loved that you, know, that you could turn some artistic kind of visions into something really practical and problem solving, yeah. working together as a team. Um, so then I, I left university, I went into building structures. Okay and then eventually migrated across to oil and gas. And I love um, the role that I'm in in oil and gas now because that's um, solving problems but on a bigger scale yeah. <laughs> with a much larger team and having to, and, and it, kind of an international team in a lot of, uh, lot of senses. I work with a lot of people that are in different countries as well. And that brings a whole new dynamic of, of engineering and science maths, but also people to, to the, yeah. to the um, equation as well. And I really love that about my job. Given that NWED is about attracting um, girls and women into engineering, what's one piece of advice that you would give to a girl who's currently at school who might or might not be thinking about a career in engineering? I'll just work along you all again. Um, so I would say engineering is a great career choice to go into, regardless what type of engineering you choose to go into, because it's all transferable skills. I remember when we started uni, they told us, stick it through the course because you can go into so many different sectors, even if it's not engineering, although please go into engineering. Um, <laughs> it's, it's got transferable skills and it can give you a very wide ranging, fulfilling career, that's what I would say. Excellent. Katie, how would you answer? If you're thinking about a career in engineering and you want to know what to do yeah. at university or at school, I would say stick with it. Yeah have grit because some of the choices you're going to have to make are not necessarily the easy choice and it's going to take persistence and hard work yeah. but it pays off in spades. Yeah. Great. Um, Caroline, what advice would you give? 
Um, so to start with, I would ad advise um, people to really think about a career in engineering because it's so varied. There's so many different aspects to it. And, and if you haven't quite found your niche, then, then keep looking and, and, and there's different things that you can go, go into within that field. So um, a bit like Katie said, stick at it, but also kind of keep looking and keep developing and, um, and look for different opportunities within the field because there's so many out there. Brilliant. I think that's great advice and I can, I can feel your passion while you talk as well. So thank you very much for talking to me.